Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays the Binding of Isaac Antibirth. Plus, we're doing something. We're playing games. I like Eden. You can random. Now, people have told me you can random and get Eden. Unfortunately. Did I say get eaten? <laughs> Normally, you know, back in my day, that would have just been considered a misstep in the verbal department. Now it's considered accidentally mentioning a fat... Mentioning? You brain, what's wrong with you? Menching might be its own fetish. V6H692Q9. Pretty standard run with the kid and play haircut. Small rock, excellent. Rate of fire, mm, a little bit to be desired. How about our uh, other items, our other statistics? Well, Doctor's Remote is pretty much okay. Speed is a little bit below average. It's, a, it's, dare I say, at the risk of alienating anybody. D should we say boring start? Or should we say something a little, that you put some colorful language on it? A pedestrian start. Just a traditional, conventional start. You know, for every bad word in English, or every word that sounds bad, there's a way to spin it into a positive. It was your day boring? No. It was quiet. Did you hurt your foot? Nah, I'm experiencing all the range of emotions that life has to offer. <laughs> okay, so the second one fell apart. You idiot! I walked into my own bomb. I was placing so many of them, I got freaked out. Anyway, uh, being one spirit heart down from where we started, not really that big of a deal. What we're going to do, and I'm very happy to have golden bombs to do it, is throw golden bombs down in order to destroy our boss as easily as possible. And it's becoming pretty clear this isn't as easy as I would like it to be. Because the dude is teleporting like exactly as I place the bomb. Box is not what we're looking for unless it is. It isn't. It highly isn't. What a terrible start. Speed downgrade takes us down to like Lard territory. That's pretty bad news. But we are also almost in, uh, like, buying something from the shop territory. I might have to stop the classic Northern Lion bit of kicking bombs. I love kicking bombs. I've been getting asked for years, why do you kick bombs instead of just placing them where you want them? I don't know. Why do you, why do you whistle when you walk sometimes? You know, why do you savor? A delicious piece of tuna when you got it in your mouth, or a, a steak. You know, why don't you just eat it? It's just for sustenance. Nah, it's not for sustenance. It's for life, you know? Life's little pleasures. That was not smart. Try it again. Alright, we're gonna go in anyway. And... I love it. Use the Hierophant. Take Book of the Dead, take Piercing Shots, and then never get hit again. So we've actually... And I'm, nobody's more surprised about this than I am. Oh god. Eh, that's fine. We've really improved, where, you know, from my standpoint at least, where we've been on this run over the past little while. We got Book of the Dead, which is... Not only good, but also a reason to watch the video because of the fact that it's uh, a booster pack item and, and a fairly prominent one as well. I've still got a lot to learn about this item. And uh, on top of that, there's the bookworm transformation that exists, but on top of that, we also got Eye of Belial, which is probably the best kind of piercing shot in the game, I think. I, is it better than Death's Touch? I honestly think it might be. Now, we were one away from the bookworm transformation, but even better than that, we actually, like, got coupon. There's an off chance, which means that we might be able to, like, if we get what, something we like here, we might be able to buy out the other things in the shop, and sadly, we don't really want Pandora's box. I think we just want to buy this. I don't even think we want... Because it was half price. I don't think we want to... Mess around with that. Okay, do we like these? 
we, we really like Sack of Sacks. But I'm just leveling with you. Oh, we kind of wanted blank card, but no, it's, this is actually better. So use Q first. Question mark. Coupon. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, okay, we got Buddy in a box. It's not quite the same as getting car battery. But dude, we've done a number on them here on this floor. I think we made the right decisions. It took us an extra couple of minutes there. We got Buddy in a box, Sack of Sacks, Restock, I of Belial, Paris of Toy Tears we would have gotten either way. Book of the Dead, two-thirds of the bookworm transformation, a couple of consumables. Now just don't squander it all by dying <laughs> immediately after. It's the perfect room for Book of the Dead to start working. So how does Book of the Dead work? Well, your uh, understanding is probably just about as good as mine. I believe the way that it works is that uh, for every enemy you kill on a room that you use the charge on, you summon... Beautiful. Either an orbital or like a charmed enemy and etc, etc. And it orbits you and it takes a certain amount of damage and then it breaks forever. So I don't want to use these offensively. I'd really much rather use them defensively and then just stack up as many as is humanly possible. This is a really cool run so far. I like what we got going on. Now, what I don't like is that if I don't get a speed upgrade, I'm in a real nightmare zone. Which is a real thing, look it up. Just, you should thank your lucky stars. You've lived a sheltered life if you've never spent any time in the nightmare zone. In the nightmare zone, Kevin Federline has had the number one album on the Billboard Hot 200 for the last 78 weeks. In the nightmare zone, Titanic's still the only thing that plays at the box office. They said if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Cancel the rest of the movies forever. In the Nightmare Zone, Star Wars Battlefront 2 is the only video game available. Oh my god! The hot takes are out of control. Okay, so we summoned a charmed enemy. It's a good balance. I don't know if they're spawned, by the way, in order. Like, if, if you have a full suite of orbitals, they're like, okay, it's time to get a charmed enemy out there, or if it's random or what, but... Um, you know, I'm, I'm learning along with you guys. The speed upgrade, highly, highly important. These would be great items. Unfortunately, I can't take them. I could have if I'd gone to our shop first and bought a spirit heart, which might have been appropriate. Apropos. I do kind of hate losing all the orbitals we had, but... Just to ensure we get out of there safely is good enough in my book. And uh, we're just going to do the rest of the floor. Obviously, we've fallen a little bit behind schedule for boss rush, but obviously, uh, who cares? We're not very perturbed by that fact as a result of the fact that we're uh, just loving our increased DPS. Not to mention, actually, our increased uh, utility. And look at that. Already starting to rebuild. Lull. Um... That's a reference to just build lull. I don't, uh, I try not to say lull in real life. I find it moderately obnoxious, but if you do, you're cool in my book, as long as you're a subscriber. I think a second secret room, were it my choice, ooh, that was a little dangerous, would be located. Well,. I'll give you that message after the break. Ace of Diamonds. I'll use it. I would like to get there's options. I mean, that's the beauty. I am an idiot. Um, that's the beauty of having a full donation machine, or at least one that, you know, is almost full. You could definitely afford to blow it up a few times to grab stuff. I think it's here. That's what I was going to say this whole time. And let's look for the quarter as well. Eh, two cents. It's honestly... Come on, dude. You're really harsh in my vibe. I heard on the internet that's the thing that cool people say, and I'm trying to come across like a cool guy here, if you don't mind. You're really harsh in my vibe. <laughs> I don't know what that voice is. It's, it's a channeled Maria Bamford. Okay, put this here. No, it's a Chanel Maria Bamford. How about that? It's upper crust. 0.7 luck. We finally made it out of the luck dungeons. 
still, you know, on paper, lacking the DPS that we like in order to make this an ideal circumstance. But you know what? What would Sylvester Stallone say, say about that? Hey, what am I looking at here? I don't even have any concept to what this game is. Some kind of video game back in my day. It was uh, Space Invaders. You ever play that one? Back when we were filming Rocky 3. Uh, I just wanted to say that the game isn't played on paper. That's why I brought you out of the freezing room. Restored metabolic functions what am i paying you for if you don't say the quote right dude we are in a dominant position fiscally speaking first you get the money then you get the speed then you get the dps that's the way i'm hoping it works at least so we got more options there's options it's a robust options menu it's like grim world We'll kill Chubb and all his little disciples. I do kind of... I, I want to see somebody do this. I don't want to do it myself because that would take a lot of time. I want to see somebody sit on a room and, like, farm up as many Book of the Dead chances, like dice rolls, basically, as they can. See if it will actually pay out, like, ad infinitum. Still only have one cent. Although we did spend, like, 30 on the floor. Wait, is that a Tinted Rock? It is a tinted rock. It's important that we blow those up because uh, we need the spirit hearts. We don't need small rock. And I really, again, I'd like to see some academic analysis of it, but I really feel like small rock's been showing up a lot less lately since the booster pack came out. I'm not saying necessarily that the percentages were reworked. All I'm saying... Is that for me personally, I feel like I've been seeing it a lot less, so I'm always happy to see it, but when you start with it on a run, that's even better. Alright, we're getting a ridiculous amount of charges here. Varicose Veins is also varicose good. Varicose good. <laughs> Look, I'm trying, okay? I'm trying to entertain you. It's, it's an honest desire. Yeah, I'll blow it up. Could get Magic Mush, you never know. At least we get Retrovision, which I'm going to take, because it's extremely good and great. Um, we're going to get the heck out of town here. Although I am kind of tempted, and I think we will. Why not uh, come here, buy this? Should be another 3 cent item. At this point, I feel like I like buying Ventricular Razor. I would like a Hive Mind as well, but I like buying Ventricular Razor. Just to... Purge it out of our rotation, basically. Another health upgrade. So yeah, we could have uh, done a couple more rooms. Probably gotten Hive Mind, but... Almost certainly gotten Hive Mind, really. Uh, but, you know, the show must go on. It's not a mission-critical item for us right now. What is? Uh, nothing, really. Damage would be good. Our rate of fire got substantially better. But uh, our damage is relatively low that being said now we might need health we might need invincibility we might need defense because i have no freaking clue how these eyeball tears are gonna work they do appear to do double damage after they hit an enemy which seems incredible <laughs> and i have no bias towards this item most of the time i've had the eyeball tears i've been like these are horrible uh but the fact that they kind of stick around and then also do double damage, I think. It's kind of hard to parse what's happening with them, but it seems extremely great. So, uh, as of right now, you can uh, count me in the Shrek soundtrack category. That's right. I'm a believer. And not the cover version by the, those old dudes from the 60s, okay? I'm talking about the original ones. Smash Mouth for like. <laughs> Smash Mouth for like. <laughs> Smash mouth for like button. Don't forget to snuff scribe. I'm trying to deliberately mispronounce things. And my brain is like, that's not how it's said. You shouldn't say it like that. I know. Work with me here. You're the one mispronouncing things to begin with. This uh, second secret room, I actually thought 
It was going to be our secret room. Now that we got 2 HP, I would love nothing more than to uh, get rid of it. And in particular, if we can get rid of it by picking up something like Empty Vessel. Like, Unitem and Empty Vessel would be the best payout. That way we'd have, like, invincibility to some extent. The ability to fly. A couple of extra demon hearts just to keep us going. I can't really complain, though. Like... The fact that we're almost on pace to make boss rush is probably the best indicator that this run's popping off. Because we spend way too much time on the first two, maybe even first three floors, trying to make uh, stuff happen. And it did happen. It happened real quickly, too. There's a chance. Hmm. Wow, that's unfortunate. Uh, we'll take HP. Even though... I'm fully aware we're probably going to just trade it away on the next floor. Range is just mostly useless. I have no concept. Here's how useless range is. I played this game. I mean, I could just tell you on Steam right now. I'll tab over. People ask this question on occasion. I got 2,600 hours in Rebirth. Uh, I have no idea what a good range stat is. If you were like, oh, the run was really bad. I had 16 range. I would be like, so did you have any damage or what's the... They, you know, I, I, I do not know if 16 range is good or bad. It feels, in my head, it feels a little bad. Is that correct? If you told me you had 70 range, I'd be like, yeah, that's... That's enough, right? That's how that works? I just do not know. Every other stat, except maybe shot speed, I have a concept of what it means. You know, you tell me, oh, I had 2.5 damage on the chest, I'd be like, oh my god. That's terrible. Or I had 0 0.4 speed. I'd be like, that's too slow. <laughs> you should have been faster than that in order to have an easier chance of winning. But any range number you told me, I'd be like, yep, that is indeed a number within the bounds of which I would consider to be realistic to see on the screen. And that's that. So I think we're approaching like a, a very uh, kind of pedestrian or mundane inflection point on this run. And that's the point at which we have so many familiars, or so many orbitals really, that um, I'm not going to say we can't take damage, but it's very hard for us to take projectile damage. And we tend to keep them alive as well, which is the, well, we tend to replenish them roughly as fast as we lose them, which is also a pretty sweet bonus. So like, I think that that bodes well. Still got a hit, but we actually killed the masks. <laughs> Always forget that like some of these enemies, they will die. You just gotta, you gotta hit them in the sweet spot, I guess. Okay, hundred percent deal with the devil chance. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. yeah, uh, definitely a one hundred percent deal with the devil chance. I still want that ability to fly. I want to never see these enemies again. Didn't somebody suggest that? I thought that was an item that was suggested for Rebirth. It was like, you can banish an enemy from the game for life. I used to go to the Isaac subreddit all the time. Like, at least four or five times a week. Which really, to be honest, is not all the time. But it's uh, often enough that I kept abreast. So I, I was in those suggestion threads like before Rebirth came out. And I was like, yo, those sound like a cool... These guys have got good head on their shoulders. We're going to leave. We're leaving because we want to go a little faster. Not because we are... Uh, trying to get out of, you know... The run as quickly as possible. It's just... I really feel like this run has a great chance to be... Well, they have the right stuff for boss rush. It seems like a fun boss rush attempt. That's the way I see it right now. And it's looking increasingly unlikely that's going to happen. But that's not the end of the world either. This deal with the devil means a lot for us. Pick up some raw stats. Ability to fly actually pays for itself in terms of giving us HP. If we spend two on it... Oh, actually, we already have an eternal heart, so technically that's not true. So don't get too excited. I was incorrect. Wouldn't be the first time. Won't be the last time. I do have an exam tomorrow, so it definitely won't be the last time. So Dark Crown is just horrendous. It's really a slap in the face when you, you know, you give up two floors worth of deals with the devil. And then they're like, okay, I've been waiting for a long time. What's my deal with the devil? Oh, it's the 
plus one tiers upgrade if you maintain your HP around an arbitrary level. Well, I'll just go screw myself then, and uh, see you never. I do want to open this. So this is one of the first times we've really had a good chance to sit back and look at uh, how we feel about Book of the Dead. It seems... And I think I said this the last time we had it. It seems like it's somewhere maybe a little bit worse. And I, I think we're just giving up on boss rush at this point. A little bit worse than uh, Book of Shadows. I think they do do two different things. But I think it's like not as good as Book of Revelation, Satanic Bible. Okay. Uh, but then, like, Book of Shadows probably comes after that, and then you're starting to get into, like, potential territory, maybe. Uh, you know what? Just hermit me right off the bat. Maybe we will have a chance to get to our boss if we're lucky enough. That was a terrible idea. Um, if we're lucky enough to be close by it right now. By the way, everything on this run is free now. We just picked up our second Steam sale. Didn't even pay full price for the first one, so this is pretty hilarious. I think it'll go down as, like, a solid situational choice. Not something you're going to be on the lookout for most of the time. I don't think there's any builds that I can think of off the top of my head that are like... Oh, you know what would really crush it on this run right now? Book of the Dead. But... That doesn't make it bad in and of itself, does it? Classic little conundrum here. You use the Strength card to try to have a better chance to kill Mom quickly. Or do you use it on boss rush because boss rush is hard? We lost our bone heart. Please drop faster. I hate you. I still hate you. Wow, we're not going to make it. We missed it by one second. Yeah, that was... I mean, pretty much garbage. That sucked the big one. Uh, we'll take everything. Because with our strength card, we have something that I would describe as being close to unlimited HP. It's not like we had any more shops available, by the way. So it's not like we passed up on a shop. that you know We could have bought everything with restock and uh, two Steam sales. But it's more just like, you know, I, I made the run for it and we missed it by one side. That's the worst. You know people like that in real life? You might be a person like that in real life. Hello. Aww. Enjoy your rehearsal. Yeah. Love you. Love you, Sarah. All right. I was going to say, do you know somebody like that in real life? You might even be somebody like that in real life. I think we've all been there at times in our lives. They think the worst outcome is to, like, try at something and fail. When the real worst outcome is to just do nothing because you're worried about failure you're paralyzed by it you know the only thing about this metaphor that doesn't make sense is that in Isaac I mean it was literally the worst outcome <laughs> in real life it happens all the time you know specifically I see it with respect to like you know I talk to people about programming and they're like oh, I could never do that and you're like no you definitely could because I can you know it doesn't require any superior intellect if you want to be like a mega genius you want to you know invent something incredible sure you could become the next john carmack if you're you know out of your gourd intelligent with respect to this stuff but in order to be able to program it's just you know you could just learn it it's uh, something I, I truly believe that pretty much anybody can learn that people are like i could never do that my math background is not that strong what do you you people get mad at me when i say this in other people's chat but you don't need a strong math background for a lot of you don't need to be like, a math genius to do web development. But either way, this wasn't meant to be programming specific. It's the same for anything, you know? Friend of yours starts losing some weight. You want to lose some weight. You're like, oh, wow, amazing. You cut out all carbohydrates? I can never do that. Yes, this is a callback to an earlier episode where I'm making fun of myself now. We got layers in these videos. That's how it goes, okay? Um... I think we'll go in, and it, it's going to pay for itself, but that's about it. Moon card out, and then escape. Um, 
Oh, no, no, let's go this way. Yeah, it seems like this might be closer to the boss anyway. Um, but really, it's just, you know, in your head, I understand. You're like, what if I put in all that work and deprive myself and then it doesn't work? But the real, and I I'm take it from somebody who goes through these phases where, like, I'm like, I love exercise. And then, like, I have a minor injury or I get distracted for, like, two weeks and I'm like, I'm never going to exercise again. Once you get into it, you're not worried about that. It's like its own addictive kind of like self-improvement sort of thing. You know, Kate asked me the other day, this is the rare real anecdote. Um, oh, did I just say too much? Uh, she said, like, what happens if, you know, you've been going to school for programming for so long? What happens if, like, you know, you just stay in the YouTube and Twitch realm until whenever you retire? And I was like, that would be sick! <laughs> That would be like a dream come true. I could do the YouTube stuff, which is fun, and the Twitch stuff, which is fun. And then on the side, I could have my own personal coding projects. It's like an old dude, you know, running his own, like, woodworking shop after he retires or something like that. It's a dream come true. But she was under the impression that I would think that perhaps, or maybe she, she was asking me honestly. I should just assume that, I suppose. But that I would be like, wow, what a waste of my time that all that time that I spent learning... I could have instead spent, like, enjoying myself, but once you get into it, and this is not just for coding, it's for any kind of hobby, the hobby itself becomes enjoyable, the process of getting better at it becomes enjoyable, the process, even when it's punishing, is enjoyable. Now I say this, I am a little bit, I don't procrastinate much, hello Ruka. A little bit of a tough call, but Magic Mush is probably the best. I'm taking these willy-nilly because we have so much HP anyway now, relatively speaking. Uh, I'm recording Isaac when I should probably be doing my final project for class, but I got time to do that tonight anyway. It's like 99% done. I just need that validation. I don't know why it's like Marlon Brando from The Godfather. I just need that validation. That was so much worse. The first accidental, in t uh, accidental attempt was better. I just need that validation. It's the nerdy godfather. I'm gonna make him a promise he can't refuse. Anyway. There's probably more jokes there that are just just horribly, horribly unfunny and require way too much setup to the punchline, but ignore those. Don't worry about that so much. Take me out of here, please. Are we going to fight Hush? In a way, it feels like a waste if we don't. Because we have restock and everything down there should be free. So yeah, I think we should fight Hush. Plus, it buys me another 20 minutes before I have to figure out what NPM module I need to add to validate forms for me. And then write a regular expression to make sure something's a phone number. But oh no, what if they put in the country code despite being told... On the placeholder, not to... You get the idea. So that's why you... Be, that's the boring stuff. I swear, Cat. I know you... I see you down there looking at me. Like you're on the cover of Angela's Ashes or something like that. I'm using this book so poorly now. Why are you... You ate so much yesterday. I watched you. This is not... By the way, they have food now. It's not like... It's a, you ate yesterday! Why are you freaking out? No, but... This cat, it begs for wet food, like, its life depends on it. Which it doesn't, because it has dry food that he also really likes. But, you know, he, yesterday we gave him wet food. He eats for like two minutes. And I think we can all relate to this. We got like an open bag of tortilla chips in the kitchen. He eats for like two minutes and is like, I'm good. Then he lays down for two minutes and then he gets up and goes and eats a little bit more. He's like, ah, it turns out I could fit a little more in me. Then he goes, lays down. He repeated it for like an hour and a half until all the food was gone. I know, you just ate a, a whole serving of wet food yesterday. Don't look at me like you're being deprived. Now he's probably looking at me because I keep saying wet food over and over. Wet food, wet food. It's amazing we didn't get hit there. So we'll take nine lives, we'll take Abaddon, we'll go down to our hush fight, and again, should all be free. Ruka, please don't claw my chair. It costs more than you and your brother combined. Now. Wow. 
That is a lot of items. And also, wow, you paid a lot for that chair. I know what you're thinking. I don't want to reroll the whole run. Because I think it's not as... Well, actually, we could reroll the whole run and simultaneous... Okay. Simultaneously um, still keep Book of the Dead. As far as I know, at least. So yeah, we might as well buy everything here. It's going to be a very slow process. Forgive me, Father, why should we bother? Buy everything! <laughs> hmm. Kind of be like, why not? Because again, we have unlimited items. Doesn't matter what we took because we're going Book of the Dead after this. Um, get the Bible out of there, get the jar out of there. Now, again, it's, it's going to be annoying. Because we have so many items, it's going to take forever to buy them all. Oh my god. Did you... You jumped all the way up here to be on my lap? That's the cutest thing ever. Now, are you going to stay on my lap or are you going to get in the box? You're going to get in the box because you're being a little needy right now. Just go in the box. This chair... My lap is for me. Try a better trinket. I can't believe we haven't gotten a better trinket over the course of the game so far. We do have, a, like, unlimited battery charges. But, you know, again, if you want to watch a streamer get 20 damage and then literally go through, like, every other trinket in the game to try to make sure they get the best trinket for them, I advise you, go watch twitch.tv slash flackblag. It's my friend Corey. He's a good guy. That's where you can get those kind of Isaac runs that you seem to desire. For me, I'm not that kind of guy. And I mean no disrespect. That's Guppy transformation, right? I mean no disrespect to Corey by saying that. I think he would poke the fun at himself, you know? He, he often says, and he's right. And I want to point out, I think he's a much better player than I am. Um... Much more consistent, at least. Uh, he plays a lot slower than I do. One run could take him like an hour and 15 minutes. That's not the way I like to live my life in this game. Now I have to sit here until we get starter deck. The run's great, by the way, but I want like Tech X. I want something that is completely transformative. I have no care in the world that we got Cursed Eye. It might make this slightly more annoying, but... 99 sad bombs that also have every other synergy in the game associated with them. Twenty damage might also be like a decent stopping point. Whatever. We could also go until we get uh, twelve red hearts if we so desire. I don't think it's really better or worse than the way that we've been rocking up to this point. My cat! Oh my god, you're so annoying! But my stupid brain loves you, and that's okay, cause you're pretty cool, except when you bite my hand. Well, 19 damage. Oh no! We got the dunce cap. Oh, 19.24. We're getting there, dude. Tech point five. It's a start. 17.74. How dare you? This is an outrage. No! <laughs> Missing no. What have you done? What is this? Are you seeing this? What is that? I have to use this. Like, this is hilarious. I actually do not know what this is. I promise you. Oh, good, we have Isaac's heart. Promise you. If you don't think this boss is hard, try fighting him with an eight pound cat on your lap, licking your arm hair, which is extremely gross because I've already showered today. So, um,. That saliva is staying there for a while. What am I supposed to do? Go to the sink, wash my forearms? Answer? Probably. Am I gonna do it? No. So 
So could you just like relax, please? Plus, I have no idea what on earth is going up with our bouncing knife build. It's a shame, by the way, but I am going to replace this run. I'm going to re-roll it with the D4. Oh, we don't have to, because when we go down to the next floor, it's going to be re-rolled for us. Um, my thinking was I would re-roll it with the D4, because I hate that we have Isaac's heart. Why is your back wet? Did you roll around in the bathroom or something? No, don't go this way. Are you out of your mind? Get out of here. Both me and the cat. Yes, my son. We can play later, but first I've got to... Ooh, tech zero. Great item. We have six bone hearts? <laughs> What's happening? Uh... Uh... Oh, we're not immune to explosions, so this is a wild one. I think it might be number two that leads me to uh, poop out these terrible bombs. So I'm just not going to hold the fire button. And in doing that, like, this run is incredible, but we don't have a choice whether or not to reroll it. It's just going to be rerolled. This is a very, very interesting and cool run. Now, I'm not saying a cool run like my last run. I'm saying a cool run like 1994's best Disney film, Cool Running, starring John Candy. We got the rare Bob transformation. What on earth is this synergy? Did you hear that? What is this? Well. is a vampire. Um... So, this is some strange combination of Tech Zero, obviously Polyphemus exists, obviously our guppy flies are just disgusting. Um, Hemolacria, Spider Baby is crawling vertically. What has this run become? My sweetest friends. <laughs> wait, 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 give me a second. What are we having for lunch, my Swedish friends? Every meat I eat is reindeer in the end. And you can have it all. My whole smorgasbord. I will watch tennis. I'll root for Bjorn Borg. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching. This is a weird little aside at the end. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya. See ya.